So we want to take a moment and talk about something that's being talked about around the internet, and that's AngularJS 2.0. Well, for starters, we don't know a whole lot for sure. And why is that? Well, because at best, AngularJS 2.0 is most likely coming out sometime in early 2016, which, as you know, is forever when it comes to software. So any number of things could change. But if you're worried about getting ready for AngularJS 2.0, about being ready from an education standpoint, from a knowledge standpoint, because it's going to be a big deal. It's going to target modern browsers. It's going to have better targeting of mobile devices. Uh, it's going to, we hope, make building AngularJS apps even easier. There are some new things that you should know about. So for starters, what can you do right now in order to be up to date when AngularJS 2.0 comes? And over the course of 2015, I'll occasionally be dropping updates so that you can help keep yourself abreast of AngularJS 2.0 as well as part of this course. So let's focus on two things in particular, ECMAScript 6 and AtScript. So what are we talking about when we say ECMAScript 6 or ES6? Well, actually, we're talking about the next version of JavaScript. You see, JavaScript is also called ECMAScript. Actually, that's the more the official name. And the version that we're mostly working with now when it comes to modern browsers is JavaScript or ECMAScript version 5. But ECMAScript version 6 is coming, and a lot of its pieces are already supported by the most modern browsers. So AngularJS, wisely, is going to be focused on ES6, although technically you'll still be able to build AngularJS 2.0 apps in JavaScript version 5, which is what you're doing now. But ECMAScript 6 has a lot of new features to make JavaScript or ECMAScript an even more robust, uh, a more enterprise-level language, the kind of language that you can build truly complex, large-scale systems with. So ECMAScript 6 uh, has a lot of features. One nice place that I like is here on GitHub. Um, there's a, a repo on GitHub that has a list of some of the things to look at. So you can do your own research on ES6. I'm going to put a link to this GitHub repo uh, in the very next uh, lecture that you'll see that's, that'll just be text with some links in it. So I would encourage you to read up on ECMAScript 6. It has things like, for example, classes. JavaScript doesn't have classes. It does something that's called prototypes. And while JavaScript will still have prototypes, they're going to add a little piece of what's called syntactic sugar, or in other words, a simpler way of writing something in the language. So instead of having to worry about writing prototypes, you'll be able to write classes in ECMAScript 6. And if you've done any kind of work in Java or C++ or C Sharp or one of those kind of languages, you might already be familiar with it. And if not, you might want to start learning. There's lots of these kind of things uh, to learn about. Modules and classes are big ones. Uh, modules is also uh, in this list. And it's also something that AngularJS 2.0 is going to focus on. So I encourage you to start learning about ECMAScript 6. That will go a long way for you being ready in 2016 for AngularJS 2.0. Now the next thing to talk about is at script, A-T script. Now, what is that? Well, it's a transpiled language that AngularJS 2.0 is going to come along with. Uh, now, wait a minute. I guess it's that time again. Big word alert. Transpile. Transpile means converting the source code of one programming language into another. Now, compiling is when you take a programming language and convert that code into something the computer can understand. But transpiling just means I'm going to convert or translate from one programming language into another. So AtScript will be a transpiled language, meaning that when you write AtScript, it actually will become JavaScript, normal JavaScript, which will then be run in the browser. Now, why do we have AtScript? And since it's not out and available, how can you be ready for it? Well, there's good news. AtScript will be what's called a strict superset of something that already exists called TypeScript. TypeScript was invented by Microsoft, has been welcomed and adopted by 
a lot of people and some serious code, some serious applications have been written in it. And AdScript, when we say it's going to be a strict superset, that means they're actually working with Microsoft to make sure that AdScript as a language is just extra stuff. It will be TypeScript plus extra stuff. And TypeScript already exists and you can use it and learn it right now. So this link, typescriptlang.org, this will also be in the link in the next uh, lecture, which is just coming up, which will have some links in it. Uh, you can actually go to play and you can write some TypeScript and you can go through tutorials and learn it. So what do we mean by transpiled language? Well, for example, I'm going to select the types walkthrough and you can see that I have a function and I have a little piece of extra functionality that JavaScript doesn't have. I'm specifying a variable passing to a method is a string. Now this gets transpiled or converted into pure JavaScript. There it is. No colon string because that's not valid JavaScript. But the transpiler can then say, well, this is supposed to be a string. So when I go create my greeter here, instead of passing world, I could try to pass an object that contains world. And even though that's still transpiled into normal JavaScript when all is said and done, notice I actually have an error that I can only assign a string. See, JavaScript doesn't have that feature. So a transpiled language adds features to another language, in this case, or at least in this case, that's its purpose. So TypeScript is adding features to JavaScript, features that are really useful when building applications, like typing, like saying what type of variable is. And there's other things that you'll find in here as one, things like generics, which get transpiled into pure JavaScript that can run in your browser. So AtScript is going to be a strict superset of TypeScript. It's going to have all the stuff that TypeScript has exactly the way TypeScript has it, that's the idea, and add some other things that AngularJS, the guys building AngularJS 2.0, want to have in it. So if you want to be ready for AtScript, you can start to learn a bit of TypeScript, and you'll be ahead of the game. Now, it won't be strictly necessary to know AtScript to use AngularJS 2.0. They've already said you can use the JavaScript you're using now, you can use version 6, but I bet that a lot of the good examples will be written in AtScript, and I bet you'll want to learn some AtScript because we're developers, we're progressive, we, we want to know the latest things so we can build the best applications possible. So, if you want to be ready for AngularJS 2.0 and really the new ES6 world that's coming, you can learn a bit of TypeScript and learn some ES6. And with that, by getting started, as we move through 2015 and we get into 2016, you'll be ahead of the game. You'll be ready. You'll be, be more marketable as a coder in the industry. You'll be ready for AngularJS 2.0.